Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Violet and well, I realized something else. Wrong button. Skeletor would actually be good in this gym because it's ghost typing would make it immune. Well, would make it immune to normal type attacks and also while I didn't actually do this, I could conceivably put Terror Blast on Magnus because because way back when it caught when I caught it as a man Magnemite, it had the fighting type terrestrialization, so that was an option I could have done, but decided not to. Actually, I should put Mandis in the lead. Actually, I think it might be a better idea to put Crocomire in the lead. Hmm. I think I'm good as is. Oh, so again. Hi. Oh, of course they want to eat at the restaurant. Your restaurant. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a... There's an item all the way over here. I got an next attack. Any right, more restaurants? Yeah, sandwich shop. Oh. Alright, finally got up to the roof, got a premiere ball. Oh, treasure eatery. Secret dish for the gym test, you say? Oh, regular mode. Well, I better eat this one. I mean, get some power from... Oh, that probably wasn't the right choice because it powers up Ghost. What kind of gimmick is it? Yeah, one wonders what's so special about this restaurant. Hmm? Oh. You can actually change Terra typing here? Well. I gotta think about that. I mean, Scaravicious typing is... is good enough for ghost typings, and... Hey, you happen to know what this place is? A hub? Oh, yeah. Bet they deal with a lot of people coming in and out to... 
uh, drop off their goods or so this is like a rest stop town I guess all right let me grab this Ooh, a hyper potion that's gonna come in handy get the feeling it's going to but it's time for the gym challenge You got something to say? Oh. Yeah, that's interesting. Out in the field? The bat the treasure eatery? Oh. Hey Jock. Or is it Jack? I'm gonna say Jock. Uh. I'm hunting for a good time. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to do all, all the things. Oh, thank you. Ooh, and I got a lucky egg. That's going to help me gain experience for... Well, for one of my Pokemon. Well, yeah. Thanks, Jock. And you know what I'm going to do with that lucky egg? I'm going... I'm going... <sighs> I'm definitely going to give it to Draco. Just as soon as I find it. There it is. Course, but I imagine there'd be counters. I mean, the best counter might not be in this game. That, of course, is Hisuian Zoro arc. It's normal and goes, so finding doesn't affect it at all. Oh. Oh, a special secret menu item. Oh, so. Okay, so what's my clue? Oh, how the regulars season their dishes. Okay, so I have to go to the treasury, find the trainers that... Where are they? So, the only clue I got is... Is to order their, the secret dish. Fight the trainers. Alright. Well, thank you. Hey. Mm-hmm. Alright, so... Oh, right now it'd be a guest. Well, it'd be a guess. It seems like I need to find the trainers first. So the key is going to be finding the trainers. Oh, hey. Oh. Okay, so... Hmm. Maybe you know. Alright, lemon is a key.
so like I thought yeah. Huh. I got a full restore and uh, someone Oh, maybe you know something? Hey. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think I tell you anything, but I do want to get that hidden TM over there. Oh, it's gum shoes. Alright, so let me hyper voice this one. Oh, you got bite. There we go. That should take care of your gum shoes. Alright, you got greet it next. I think I'm gonna smoke those berries you hide in your bushy tail. Oh, you got bite as well. Seems like dark type moves are a special specialty for these normal types. They probably figure, oh, someone might come in here with a ghost and we won't have a way to deal with them. But hey, crab legs and madness both gained a level. All right, and crab legs can learn rock slide. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with rock, uh, get rid of rock blast because the same accuracy. Eh. There we go. That means I can take the loaded dice off. Well, off of crab legs. Alright. Tell me your secret ingredient. I went out to ice cream stands. Alright, so you're you're the ice cream stand, so which one stands out? Huh, grilled rice balls, I would say. Yeah. So it's grilled rice balls seems to be a, a clue. Hey, it got reflect. Oh, I greet it. I was hoping to talk to you. And that was Nackley I Neckly salt ice cream. Mm, crepes. I'm thinking the grilled rice balls are a clue. If only I knew where the other two trainers were. Got a blue squawk ability. Alright, so far it's lemon. Oh, hi. You must have a clue. Mm hmm. Hey, Santiago. Oh, you've got done sparse. So, 
having a battle all around the city. Hmm. I'm gonna go Hyper Voice here. I I think one more hyper voice ought to do it. And since there are no other Pokemon, that should keep Crocomire from having to fall asleep. Alright, Crocomire and Draco both level up. Well, yes you do. That's that's the rule. Alright, the Bluebird Pokemon. So that Squawk ability. Talk ability, talk ability. No Fink, no Fink. Medium. Oh, so medium as in medium rare. Well, it means you have to have a certain standard of luck before they before you're allowed in. Hmm. So I need one more clue. Medium, grilled rice balls, lemon. Alright, so you must be the final clue. Gisela? Oh, you got Ursa Ring. That means you probably have Crunch. Oh, you got Play Rough. Alright, I can handle that. I'm gonna finish things off with a Snarl. All right, Gisela. Give me your clue. Now it's kind of like a puzzle. So, a dark spot surrounded by stairs. Hmm. Fire Blast! Okay. Well, that is the darkest spot I could think of. But it's back to the treasure eatery. And I think I know what I'm supposed to order, so... Yeah. It's grilled rice balls, medium serving, fire blast style, and garnish with lemon. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds like I figured it out. And what do you know? I'm guessing all those customers were an illusion. But what have... What? 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 Were the customer, were customers really an illusion? Or did the table just flip upside down and they all fell to their death? 
Okay, so who's the waiter? Are you the waiter? Well, yeah, the exceptional everyman Larry. Larry, you're up. I'm guessing it's that guy who tells us about the lemon. Yep. Hey. Hmm. Yeah, but it seems like you'd rather just eat. Oh. Maybe one day. Huh, so... So you're just trying to hide from work. You just go around Paldea doing sales. But it's time to serve up a beat down to Larry. Oh, you're going to start with Kamala. Huh. Oh, you don't want to cramp up. You kind of need to stretch out a bit. All right, free Pokemon. And considerably, this one be easier than the Psychic Gym. So maybe I should have taken care of this one fifth. Oh, it's a sucker punch. Alright, so Kamala at least had something to counter me with. Yeah. Quackamire having all attack moves isn't helping. Alright, the Dun Sparse. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Scare Bitch. I don't know what Dun Dun Sparse is typing is ever than normal. But it looks like it's extra typing as a drill. Well, makes its tip more of a drill. Oh, of course you got glare. I think I just accidentally... Oh, you're not an electric type, but uh, so that... Paralysis is going to affect you. I'm going to go with extra sensory. Yay, para flinching. And down goes the dun sparse. Alright. And Mutro gained a level. Can I should switch torment for nasty plot? All right. All right. Star Raptor is your final one. Well, crab legs, your turn. Scarevich got what I needed it to do. I'll see. Oh, I just realized Star Raptor would have close combat. So, if I survive it, I think I can get this right slide off. Oh. Well, the chef's trying to Cheer you up. Yeah. I mean, if we... I mean, 
it is dinner and a show. I mean, look, this battle's bringing in customers. Yeah, give it your all, Larry. I was going to ter terrestrialize, so it's going to get rid of that flying typing. And just go completely normal. Oh, you're going with facade. Oh, it's a good thing I wasn't going to try and paralyze you. Oh. Alright, I think... I think I'm going to rock tune here. I think if Star Raptor had close combat, it would have used it already. Yeah, it's time to... Swords Dance. I would say because it was a natural bird, it would... It would have flying type moves, so having a fighting type might not have been the best option. Oh, and down goes Star Raptor, but using that X Scissor allow me to take advantage of Star Raptor not having stab on a flying move. Well, losing its flying typing. Oh, right. And down goes Larry the businessman. But hey, Big Un is evolving. It's now a shell gun. The endurance Pokemon. Alright, so it'll be a while before I can get it into into a Salamence. And I don't really want Protect for it. Well, yeah. And that means we get bash number six. Well... Oh, got some donuts! Actually, I believe those are rice balls, but... I had to make that joke. Oh, so... Pokemon up to level 50. Okay. I guess you're footing the bill since I'm a child. In this game, at least. Alright, thanks for facade. Yeah, it reminds me of Norman from Gen 3. Oh. Well, yeah. That and... The trainer who just beat you for that badge is a child. Asking a child to foot your bill... Seems... Kind of pathetic. Oh, hey Hassel. How's it going? Oh, thank you. One moment. <coughs> Sorry, I had to cough there. Mouth's getting a bit dry. Recording these episodes back to back can be well. Rough on your throat. Mm -hmm. Well, I can handle it. Well, one day, Hassel. Oh, yeah. I would still have to do that. Alright. I think it might be 
bit too far for me to go to any future destinations. Huh. Dolly Zappa Passage. So... Alright, that's La Vincia. That was the Tag Tree Thicket, so... I'm thinking my next destination based on... Might... Might either be Glacido Mountain or... Or here. But I feel like I'm a bit too far to even try that track next episode. So, I think first I want to do is heal up. Yeah, it's getting kind of late for me. I should. Yeah, I think I'm close to Morgrim evolving. Alright, this is where I'm at. Hmm. I think I should try and aim for this next. As my next destination. I feel like this goes here to Dali Zappa Passage. And that would take me back to Zappa Pico. But I do eventually gotta face these two trainers. Nice and ghost type. One Titan and it feels like the Team Star members are last in, in the pecking order. Yeah. That's the sadness of it. I should fly back to Uva Academy. I might as well spend the rest of the episode trying to get some of those classes leveled up. Granted, they'll be full of tips that I should already know by now. But if you don't want the answers to Uva Academy quizzes. I'm just going to say feel free to skip the rest of this episode and go to the next one once it's uploaded. But for now... Yeah, I'm going to go with history. Well, I do gotta catch up on my studies, though. Hey, right for it. Oh. Hmm. All the an empire, you say? Oh. Area zero. Hmm. So it's not fifty one. They're aliens. Oh, you must be talking about aliens. Oh, is this why we go on treasure hunts every year? Well, you said 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But you only made me want to break the rules just to get there. Oh. Okay. Well, I might as well get a bit closer to each one. Alright, Mr. Salvatore. Well, Salvatore. Yeah, kind of tired. But I'll try my best. Oh. You can answer with yes or we. So, it's yes or yes. Oh. Okay. Delicio H. Bueno. I'm thinking. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Huh. Hello. All right. Oh, yeah. Something like nice, nice shirt or, or well, thank you so much. Uh, I kind of suck in the compliment department. But that's a nice Raichu pin. Well, tail pin. Okay. Or ambiance plus sympathique. Oh. Well, there's two left. Well, three left. Battle Studies, Art, and Home Ec. Well, yeah, maybe... Maybe I can learn something from Bamling. In, in all seriousness, I wonder if there's something behind all uh, doing all these classes. Well, hey, Danger. Last time we learned ESP from you. Well, yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've run to a few. Oh. Terra Raid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, I know about cheering. We can... Attack, defend, or heal. Mm-hmm. Just heal up. Mm-hmm. Well, I've done a few terrestrial battles. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, you can use any of those for you. <laughs> Interesting. So, again, something that I've actually practiced. <sighs> yep. Ah. 
Uh, I think there's only two more classes that are level two. One's art, one's home ec. Yeah, let's go with art class. We just saw Mr. Hassel back at Medley. <sighs> well, hey. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. How? Mm. Who is it? Oh, Skibble! Hey, I caught you earlier. Oh, Professor Gibble! Sorry. Oh, so. Professor Gibble is a terrestrialized. Hey, you're a grass type. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, that can make all the difference in a bow. Well, it's the grass type. Fire is kind of like a candelabra, and water is a fountain spout. Mm hmm. Yeah, it just retains the same ice sweetness, it's just that it will be two times instead of four times. Yeah. That's a good idea. And it can change the flow of battle if used properly. And if you know who you're going to terrestrialize. I wonder what the rule will be as far as terrestrializing goes in competitive Pokemon. And finally, there's Homek, too. Uh, yeah. I gotta imagine they're not gonna let you ter ter terrestrialize more than one Pokemon. But can you imagine if they let terrestrialize all six? Okay, okay. I was just looking things up, Professor. Oh. Okay, so... Hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You are asking. Hmm. Well, a teacher's nowhere in like a place with water, probably not. I'm gonna say items on the ground, you never know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's about the only one of the free options that would give you a chance of gaining an item. The teacher might battle you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I kind of noticed that. Okay. Bye, Professor. All right, so I think that does it as far as, well, as far as classes go. Everything's at, well, everything's on the third lesson, so I think I should call it a video here, so. I need to figure out what to do next time. But at least now I got 
some options available to me. I got two Team Star bases, but it seems like the gems and the tight and the last Titan Pokemon are what's left. So I'll take care of one of those next time. So, until then, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. So, until then, stay safe, be kind to each other, and treat your Pokemon with love, care, and respect. Thanks, everybody.